What's up guys? I want to do a quick review on R.L. Stein's The Beast 2. Now, if you haven't watched my other video on The Beast 1, I really like that book. I think the first Beast is a great book. The sequel, not so much. <laughs> this is actually a really disappointing sequel. So, it's a direct sequel. The characters are the same. It takes place in the same park. The kids go on the beast roller coaster they travel back in time again <laughs> and that's kind of where the similarities between the stories end um the plot with this book is not very cohesive doesn't really make a lot of sense compared to the first one the first book was a lot more linear and had more of like a direct story this one is just kind of all over the place uh the kids travel back in time they're kind of freaking out and running from the guards again like in the first book and then they end up getting trapped there's gonna be spoilers spoiler alert um they end up getting trapped in like this freak show type thing where this guy's holding them hostage and these cages and people pay to come look at them and the guy's like kids from the future you know ask them anything and so they're locked up for a few days or i guess i don't remember how long it is a couple days or something and yeah, and then they start trying to get out, and they find the time machine, time machine. It's not even a, the roller coaster anymore that they're looking for. There's like a time machine this time. This guy, the freak show guy, his name, I'm, I think his name is Captain Time, I believe, if I remember correctly. And he built this time machine, so it kind of throws the story of the first book kind of out of whack. Like, even though it's a direct sequel, it kind of changes direction the first story kind of loses its credibility a little bit. It's just, I don't know. This book doesn't really make a lot of sense. There's a lot of things in here that don't really have much logic behind them. And that's one of the reasons I didn't like it as much. Um, so yeah, they find this time machine. Some weird stuff happens. Um, there's one scene, another spoiler alert, where the pterodactyl actually comes through from, you know, millions of years ago or whatever and comes through the time machine and he's, the pterodactyl is like chasing the kids around and stuff and it's just really crazy and over the top and this book has a completely t different tone and mood to it than the first one the first one was a little bit more scary and serious this one is just i don't even know this one does not take itself seriously at all this one almost feels like more of a parody of the first book and even though it's the same characters this was another issue i had they don't really feel like the same characters their dialogue isn't as well written. Their actions don't seem as smart. They just don't feel as fleshed out as much as they were in the first book, if that makes sense. So, yeah, I really did not like this book much at all. I'm struggling to find anything good to say about it. Um, Yeah, I don't really know what else to say about it. I think that's about it. It's not a sequel I recommend. I recommend reading um, The First Beast. This one, I just did not really care for as much. So, yeah. That's my review of R.L. Stein's The Beast 2. Thanks for watching, guys.